Hello and welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. This tutorial is on how to make strawberry crunch sponge cupcakes. By popular demand, I've had several requests for this recipe and I finally had time to put this tutorial together. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. This is one of my best seller for cupcakes. If you've seen my other vanilla sponge cupcake tutorial, this is the same recipe except um, we won't be using vanilla extract. We'll be replacing that with strawberry extract. And of course, we'll have our uh, crunch topping, our strawberry jam, and then topping that off with the strawberry. And here is how the texture of the cupcake is. Very soft, spongy, and fluffy. Alrighty, so let's get started on making the crunch topping first. You'll need one box of strawberry jello, three ounce, one box of instant vanilla pudding, which is 3.4 ounce, one stick of butter, and that's half a cup at room temperature, and one cup of all-purpose flour, and we'll be using half of each of the all-purpose flour for each of these flavoring. You'll want two separate bowls, and you'll want to cut your butter into in uh, halves which will equal out to a fourth cup of room temperature butter and then open your jello packets and pour each one of these into the separate bowl and then add in half a cup of all-purpose flour to the strawberry one and half a cup of all-purpose flour to the instant vanilla pudding and then using your hands i do recommend putting on gloves and you'll just mix these with your hand it's just a lot easier mixing by hand and you'll want to squeeze the butter between your hands and kind of loosen that up and then continue mixing until you get um, a sticky dough-like texture. You'll notice while you're doing this is that the strawberry one actually is a lot wetter after you mix compared to the vanilla one. Um, and if you want, you can definitely add in one tablespoon extra of all-purpose flour. I didn't do that. It was fine the way it is for me, but that is also optional if you would like. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue mixing these and kneading these until it becomes sticky and dough-like. And then you want to gather your baking pan, parchment paper, or foil and then you'll want to spread these two mixture just together separate on each side onto the parchment paper to be baked. You can just spread this out using your hand by pressing on the mixture or you could use a rolling pin like I did. Bake this for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and this is how it'll look after it's been baked. You'll want to wait until it cools completely before placing this into a fruit processor or chopper to be uh, broken down into little chunks. This has cooled completely so I'm going to break this into smaller pieces so it's easier to stick into my chopper. And I'm going to place this into my chopper and pulse this so it breaks down into smaller crumbs or chunks. You can use a blender, chopper, um, or a food processor. Here is how our crunch will look like. And if you don't want the chunks or crunch to be too small, just make sure you don't chop it too long. Next, let's make our cake batter and bake our cupcakes. Here are all the ingredients that you're going to need in order to make your cupcakes. I'm not gonna go into details on how to make the cake batter because I do have several tutorials on my channel. So please do check out the vanilla sponge cupcake tutorial and replace the vanilla extract with strawberry extract in order to proceed with this step. You're going to first, of course, make your meringue using the egg whites and the sugar and optional is cream of tartar. And once you have come to this stiff peak here, then you're going to proceed with adding that on to the rest of the mixture, which will be made or mixed into a separate bowl. For the other mixture for the cake batter will be the egg yolk, uh, more granulated sugar, milk, oil, baking powder, and cake flour. And once you have mixed those all together, then you're going to incorporate your meringue into this mixture to make the cake batter. 
If you want, you can add more food coloring, pink coloring or red food coloring of choice. Um, the strawberry extract that I'm using is actually a uh, non-color. Um, so I did add some extra um, food coloring, but that's optional if you want or not. For the food coloring, I ended up using this dark red food coloring along with a pink gel food coloring to get more of a pinkish red tone in my cupcakes. One important thing that I do want to point out when you're adding your meringue in with the rest of the cake batter mixture is you'll want to do this in two portion just by eyeballing and what you want to do is scrape the side of the bowl and then kind of chop in between the center of your mixture. You don't want to do a continuous stir and you don't want to over mix your batter making it too thin. If you do do that then you're going to have a cupcake that's not very spongy that won't rise so well as well. Um, so make sure that you just mix enough that all of the egg whites are incorporated in and that way your batter should still be quite thick, not too runny and that will result in a really nice fluffy sponge cupcake. I ended up adding extra food coloring because I wanted the color to be a little bit more pink. Next you'll want to gather your cupcake pan and add in your cupcake liner and then fill these cupcake liner three four full of cake batter if you take a look you'll see how my batter is it's still quite thick and it's not runny and this is how you want your batter to be preheat your oven to 330 degrees fahrenheit and you'll want to bake these cupcake in the middle rack for about 13 to 15 minutes i did 13 minutes for my oven but the timing may vary based on your oven temperature Next, we're going to make a strawberry jam, which is completely optional. You'll need one and a half cup of strawberry puree, one four cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch, one and a half tablespoon of water, and red food coloring, which is optional. Place your strawberry into the blender and then blend this without any water. And then once it has been blended well, you're going to pour this into a pan and cook this under medium heat. If for some reason you had to add water in order to blend your strawberry, then you'll want to cook this down just slightly a little bit to make it thicker. If you did not add water like me, then go ahead and just add in your granulated sugar, mix this well and cook this under medium heat. You'll want this mixture to come to a simmer and then just continue cooking this for about three to four minutes until it thickens just slightly. Once that happens, you're going to add in your mixture, which is the cornstarch and water. I did not show that in the video, but it's pretty much one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with one and a half room temperature of water. When you do add the cornstarch, you don't want to just pour all in at once. What you want to do is stir with a spoon with the mixture and then pour in the cornstarch. That way you don't have clumps from the cornstarch being poured into your strawberry mixture. As you pour in your cornstarch, you'll notice that it's making your mixture quite thick. And really, you want to just cook this for just another 30 seconds and then turn off the heat and let this cool completely. Here is the end result of my baked cupcakes. I have removed this from the heat and I'm going to go ahead and remove this out of the pan and transfer this onto a tray so I can start decorating. It's important to make sure that your cupcakes are cool completely before decorating. 
Okay, so let's start decorating our cupcakes. This is the funnest part for me. And here is all the ingredients that I'm going to be using in order to decorate my strawberry sponge cupcakes. Here are the cupcakes that we have baked earlier. We're going to be using white whipped cream. And then we're going to be um, using half of strawberries the strawberry jam that was made earlier and it looks a lot redder because I added extra red food coloring towards the end and then the strawberry crunch that was also made earlier. I'm using Gem 3J piping tip in order to pipe these whipped cream onto my cupcakes. These are the ingredients you'll need to make the whipped cream. For a detailed tutorial on how to make the whipped cream, please do check out my vanilla sponge cupcake tutorial. After piping your cupcakes, you'll want to add on to the cupcake topping with some strawberry crunch. And to do this, you can just simply use a spoon and add on the crunch to the top. Or if you want, you can sprinkle on the crunch, whichever you would like to do. Next, let's add our strawberry jam, and I'm just doing a little dollop at the top. If you want, you can add this onto a piping bag and do some little swirls um, or whatever you like. This is just how I'm doing for this tutorial. Lastly, add on your half of the strawberry to the top to add a finishing touch. Here's the end results of our strawberry crunch sponge cupcake. I hope you all found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and do comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.